is going on guys welcome to the smooth movement podcast and this is where we understand that life has no rule books so why not try to make it a smoother one i'm your host reina for today and and all the other days i actually am (laughs) this is actually spur the moment last minute thing because of the fact that i actually recorded yesterday for today to do all the editing but there was something that happened at work that I was just like, I need to hurry up, get in, change my clothes, and just record because what I recorded yesterday, I listened to it and I was like, wow, that sounds depressing. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't want to listen to this. This is not it. This is not what we're going to do. So we need to change this up and we need to figure out how we're going to do that. And then I started processing and I was like, oh, let me think about this. What do I really feel now that I've kind of released what I had to say yesterday, right? And I feel like there's a huge weight off my shoulders. I feel that if I didn't take the time to record what I had to record and say what I had to say, it would have still been like lingering in my thoughts. So the first thought as I was coming in and I was preparing um, for what I was going to say, just kind of going through my head or whatever, the first thing that I thought of is... I want people to know that when you embark on your journey, that just because we're talking about very intimate things, very um, real life situations, it doesn't make you any less strong of a person because you're taking the time to acknowledge what's been happening and how it has affected you. If anything, I see you as a stronger individual because you are now taking responsibility for how you are acting, how are you reacting to the things that are happening, how you're treating the people around you because of those crises, because of those unforeseen circumstances. I am proud of you that you are doing everything that you need to, not only just here with me, alongside with me, but also doing your own research and going and and finding new ways and new avenues and new resources to really take charge of the things that are happening around you. um, And basically, and how you process those things, right? So I wanted to make sure that you knew that this setting is for you to know that you're not alone. I'm here with you and we're going to keep moving forward. Okay. And the reason why I had that first thought in my head, like, wow, why do I want to say I'm not weak? I'm not weak. I'm not weak. Why? And I kept repeating in my head over and over and over. I was like, why do I want to say that? Oh, okay. Maybe because I took days upon days sulking about a situation that I couldn't change. I took things, uh, event already occurred and I took days on top of days on top of days of just processing and trying to give myself the space to be a person about it. And for some reason that made me feel weak. Why? Why is that making me feel weak? I don't understand it. It's like for some reason I was adding additional pressure on myself that didn't need to be there. And so when... I'm restating to myself, hey, I'm not weak, I'm not weak, I'm not weak, is because that is the message that it needs to be given given across to you. In society, we're taught that if you cry, you're a baby. If you cry, you're weak. If you cry and show emotions, people are going to take advantage of you. People are going to screw you over. People are going to see your kindness and your and your and, and your softness as weakness. We're taught that. Oh, when you're young, oh, don't cry, oh, don't cry, I'll give you a reason to cry. That's that's the era that we grew up in. And a lot of us are still having to battle that mentality of, I can't cry, I can't let them see me sweat, I can't let them see me waver. Okay, well, so-and-so who's not wavering, who's not showing their emotions, and who's not um, allowing their, they're going to burn themselves out. And it's going to happen at the most inconvenient time. But because you took charge of your life and you said, no, enough is enough. I no longer want to live this way. I no longer want to react this way. I no longer want to impact the people around me. That is so commendable. Other people don't have the ability to say, hey, you know what? Yeah, 
I'm going to seek therapy. Yeah, I'm going to start journaling because I need to get it out of my brain. Yes, I'm going to get physically in, in a better shape so that way my health can match where my brain is going and where I want myself to be. Yes, I'm going to do those steps. Other people don't even want to try. Other people don't even want to start. You are so far ahead of the game right now just because you are starting. Other people don't even bat an eye at change because change is scary, because evolution is un unforeseen. Um, taking risk, you don't know if you're going to fall. Right now, what you're doing, you're doing something so courageous. And you're saying, hey, I'll look myself in the mirror and I'm going to change all those pieces of myself that I don't agree with anymore, that I'm no longer, I am not that person, I am not that angry person, I am not that sad person, I am not a victim, I am not broken. And when you tell yourself that, when you tell yourself you're not broken, you're switching the narrative that you've had in your brain this whole entire time. Oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do and, and worry and all these negative thoughts. You are taking charge. And the fact that you're putting your shoes on today and you went to work is something to be commending. Be the fact that you took a shower, the fact that you decided to be a decent human being to everybody you came across is something commendable. There is people out there who are purposely, maliciously being terrible people and they don't care who they impact. It is such a beautiful thing that you are taking the time to be who you morally want to be and allowing yourself to become the individual that you know you are on the inside. Not that exterior of a person that you've had to make up because the world has been so cruel to you. We are shedding our skin. We're shedding our hard brick walls that we have against society, the things that we have to protect ourselves for. We're not, we don't need that anymore. Because at the end of the day, a good heart is a good heart. That is something to, that you can just feel and that you could just know. And if somebody takes advantage of that, believe me, karma is a real thing. I've seen it and she is whew, the biggest B. I'm just going to put it like she is. Karma is the biggest B. All right. So if somebody wants to judge you for the steps that you're taking, oh, that's stupid. Why would you do therapy? Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that's stupid. Why are you doing meditation? That doesn't work. If somebody wants to judge you for that, that's okay. Let them because what you're doing is not to benefit them. It's to benefit you. So focus on that. The thing is, is that your opinions of me, I can't throw your opinion in my gas tank. Sorry, can't do it. Can't feed myself with your opinion. I can't blow your opinion off a stem and get, get granted 100 wishes, right? It's not like a dandelion. It's not like I'm looking at a field of just your opinions and I'm just like, oh, wow, I have to pick up all of these dandelions or else I'm not going to have any wishes. No, I'm looking at your field of opinions and I'm saying, okay, I see you growing. I see you feel how you feel, but I don't need to pick you up to have my wishes granted. I don't need your approval to be able to move forward with the things that I need and the things that I require that require me to have balance in my life, to, that I require to have peace in my life. I'm not going to waste my time considering whether or not you think what I'm doing is appropriate or not. I'm not going to sit here and waste time thinking about whether or not you are going to think that I'm on the right route or the bad route or I'm being swayed by something or I'm going based on the trends. I'm not going based on the trends. What happened in 2020 was something very real that everyone felt across the entire globe. Some people lost family members, sons, daughters grandfathers, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, people lost real lives that they can't get back. And you started to really, really realize that life is short. And that triggered a lot of people to being like, wow, no, no, no. This life is a gift. This life is a present. And if you don't put yourself in a place to be grateful for what you have, you'll miss it. You'll blink your eyes and it'll be over. So what I want you to know 
is that it doesn't matter what other people think of what you're doing because it's not for them. This is for you to be grateful for the life that you've been given, for you to be thankful for the opportunity that you have to see another sunrise, to see another sunset. You are blessed beyond belief. The fact that you're even able to just pick up a phone and watch this video right now or press play and listen to the audio right now. The fact that I'm even able to sit here and speak to so many people at once is such a blessing. A present. And when I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today, because I definitely wasn't going to upload what I had yesterday, this is something that I felt like I just needed to say. Life is about three main things. Life is about love, acknowledging, and overall just trying to understand one another. If you can just love each other for our differences, if we can just acknowledge everyone's existence and how everyone matters. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter your status, it doesn't matter where you're at, who you're with, where you live, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much money you make. No one's better than anybody else. If we could just acknowledge the fact that we are all the same and understand that we all have things. And then even when you are having a bad day, somebody else may be having a bad day too. Or maybe when you're having a good day, maybe they're not having a good day and you can spark some joy in them or vice versa. We have such a great gift here. And if we can just remember those key things to love one another, acknowledging one another, and to understand one another, things would be so much easier. I don't know why it's just so hard nowadays to just pick up the phone and have a regular conversation with people. People are so guarded. People are so afraid of what the other person's gonna think of their interactions. Be yourself, babe, be yourself, be yourself. And I know it's so hard because so many times people have either called you a name or looked at you sideways or reacted a certain way at the end of the day when you take your shoes off from work and you wind down from the day's work or whether it be school or whatever it is that you're going through or that you do in your daily routine you can say wow today i was myself and whether or not I have received the approval of somebody else, I am living in my truth. I am living in who I am supposed to be. And yeah, I may not be where I want to be yet, but at least in the process, whether or not somebody accepts me, it doesn't change that I was able to just be who I am. We don't need to hide behind expectations. We don't have to go out and take a, a course or a, a specific schooling just because our parents want to. We don't have to go out there and get that specific job just because that's what was in the cards for us. We don't have to marry that person because that's the person that the family approves of. We don't have to do any of those things. This is our life that we have to live. We don't have to live it based on the basis of other people. We can just be who we are and at least try to learn some lessons along the way, how to treat one another, how to love one another, how to acknowledge and understand one another. That's all this is all about, is just showing and giving love. I'm gonna keep it short this week. And I know you're probably looking at the time like, oh, not short, but I feel like someone really needed to hear this. And I want you to know that you are perfect the way you are. Flaws and all. Pieces that you think you may not have together and all. Hiccups. Maybe some things that you may regret. Maybe some things that, you know, you weren't too proud of. Or maybe just something that you haven't received yet. It doesn't matter. You as a whole, as a person, as a soul, as a being are made perfect. The only thing that we're doing here is we are accenting, accessorizing, if you will, <laughs> to the already perfect being that we are. 
that's it. All right, guys, that's the message for this week. I really appreciate you continuing to come back. And hopefully I was able to drop a gem or two this week. Please leave down in the comments anything that um, definitely resonated with you. Also, catch me on Spotify. You may be listening now. Thank you, as always, for those who uh, listen on Spotify. For all of my new followers on YouTube, thank you guys so much for following. Please subscribe. That way you can be notified once I load up the next episode. We're trying to keep it on schedule here. Sundays at 8 p.m. Usually is when we upload new episodes. Other than that, guys, you are doing so great. I'm so proud of you for committing to being your best and most healed version of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.